New tonight at 6, is this festive or is it going too far? Neighbors are voicing their concerns over this Halloween display. He using this uh, Halloween display in a disguise as uh, for racism. Tonight, the owner is answering back. And our Rich and I talked with the man who built that display, saying he was just trying to get into the Halloween spirit. The Halloween display on Emerson Avenue, just north of Michigan Street, is impressive. But many people in the Emerson Heights neighborhood find one prominent feature terribly disturbing. This is a part of life that people endure, people people suffer. So they don't have anything to do, this don't have anything to do with Halloween, nothing. It's scary, but to who? That pole was made. You took time and effort into that, you know? And then to put the noose around the neck, like it's, I'm trying not to, you know, be so sad about it. Like it's, it's troubling. The man who lives here and built the display works at a Halloween store in Anderson. There have been lots of people through the course of history, pirates, witches, for any or no reason, horse thieves in Texas are a big example. Lots of people in mass numbers have been hung. I just view it as entertainment for the season of Halloween. I'm not trying to offend anyone. Some folks have seen this display and felt that it signified lynching and uh, that we're a very diverse community and that means that the way that we interpret things is, is very diverse. So let's you know, try to understand and recognize you know, where folks are coming from. Fisher promises to take down the hanging display as soon as he gets home from work tonight. I just try to entertain and maybe creep out my neighbors a little bit. I did not expect it to be quite so poorly received as it was. Fisher says this is not the first year he has displayed the hanging, but it might be the last. I'm Rich Knight, Channel 13 Eyewitness News. Now, the property owner told us today he is mortified and embarrassed that this happened at one of his properties, so he plans to give official notice to terminate Fisher's lease at the end of this month.